All right, straight back into Factorio, all right? Let's do another round. I think I had come up with decisions last time, right? One thing I, I've definitely decided while I was away is that the only way to properly handle this structure is to complete it. And there must be eight biomass plants running uh, for a single turbine. Or else we run the risk of, you know, that jaggy power situation when it runs out of steam. Speaking of which, uh, the absolute first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run all the way over to the AUG pen and I'm going to cut the power to simulate a crisis. I, I'm very interested in how the steam power will behave if suddenly the entire weight of the factory is thrown on it. I suspect it's going to... Uh, fail and start thrashing around. But we're going to have to go check on that, yeah? So we're going to run all the way over there and then we're going to start on Trees 2. Um, we're just going to take a long time to get up to, to win the lottery three times to get the seeds that I need. But in the meantime, I can sit down and do other things, right? There's always more to do. Not quite this. Over here. All right, so we're gonna take a look. This is the main line that keeps this power together. All right, so let's just cut power. We've just cut power. Where'd the augs go? Okay, we're holding out. That's because we had a, a nice uh, amount of steam built up in the system and steam is still being produced. Like right here, we just simulate the augs are not being fed. Uh, Relesia isn't getting in, seeds aren't getting in, something like that. And this just, the augs are just, just on permanent vacation. So it's holding up really well for, you know, a few minutes. And what just, what just, uh, the other aug generator just shut off because of, uh, probably ran out of meat. Uh, there we go, ran out of steam. All right, so this is what my future looks like. And then another shot of steam comes in. And it holds out for a little while. And then eventually the weight of the factory is too much, right? The only way to stop this from happening is to make sure that turbine is always saturated. Which means four more biomass power plants. All right, and so it just flicks on and off, on and off like this. It is obviously terrible. And here we go. Normal service has been restored. All right. We have a mission. And I think the only decision I have to make is whether I pull the Petri dish line, which is right here, up to like the old zinc area and then merge it with one of the uh, moss lines in order to make the moss that I'm going to need. So let's take a look at that, right? Uh, tree seeds. Tree seeds two. This is what we gotta do. We need to make a tree, make moss gene sample, and we need to make tailings. And they're in botanical nurseries. I should probably focus on this. So, I guess I don't want to do this locally. We need three gene labs, and I don't have any I use. So, gene lab. I'm going to make three of you. And we're going to try to... Like, here's the thing. I'm going to need to do this when I actually set up um, cDNA for real. Which is probably going to be right here, I think. Yeah, it feels right. We're down here, so we're going to have to pipe uh, plasmids over, which is going to be expensive. But they're already here. Maybe cDNA starts here, though I want this to be a bus, too. So maybe just on the other side of the Relesia and Mushroom plant, like right there, and build a walkway out and then up. That seems like a fine idea. For right now, I mean, what's the, the harm in piping grass, um, uh, grass gene samples over as well? I don't think there's any harm at all. So we're going to do that. There's more I need. What was the other thing I needed from that screen I was just looking at? 
Jean, Jean. No. Jean Lab. Bunch of Duralumin. Up, up, up. Okay, Gene Lab. Still can't do you? Why? Probably don't have enough plastic either. No, I have just enough plastic, I think. I need more glass. Glass is easily gotten. Alright, finally, can I do this? One, two, three. And grab some more Duralumin. I have to uh, do next level, um, next level aluminum very soon here. It's amazing how long, often I just completely blanked out in the middle of words. All right, so uh, I need to make trees. That's tree seedlings. I need to find seedlings and I need to find bricks. Bricks can be gotten right here. Um, this is plastic, right? Use a little more of you. It's like right in here, like the old um, iron area. is kind of perfect for what I need. Because I can turn this place like right here. Right down here. Amazing how thin it is. I really had the entire smelting, iron smelting for this factory just right here. Wow, I need to go get more Naomi and Pike. Um, so I have everything I need right there. Seedlings, bricks, iron, I can make dirt, and there's an ash line. That's all exactly what I need to make trees. I'll have those being spat out. And those are going to be very important for this entire project for reasons I hope are obvious. And then I have to bring in the moss gene samples from somewhere else. I would like to get two nurseries working on this. Well, okay, let's, let's count the nurseries in this chain. Um, tree seed two, right here. So we need one nursery right there. And that's basically it. So I just need two nurseries right now. And we have tailings here, right? I thought we produced tailings here. We in fact have all the tailings in the world. Are they not being vented north? Oh no, they were going to go in to make acid gas right here. And I don't need that anymore for lots of reasons. So we got tailings here too. So, okay, we'll be using that. Um, so we need two nurseries. Now let's get 100 dirt, it says. That should be all I need. Nice. I'm not sure if I believe it, but nice. I don't have any ash in my inventory. Maybe that's something... Oh, I do. I got lots of ash in my inventory. What am I saying? Alright, good. Alright, so let's start setting this up, huh? Well, we're going to need a couple automated factories. Um, oh, we need another one. Go get steel in order to make first empty planter boxes and then planter boxes which have things in them. You know, the opposite of empty. And I'm not going to mess with... Uh, so what we'll do planter boxes right here. We'll get iron, we'll get bricks, there's wood right there, that makes a planter box. And then there's ash right over there. And then dirt can just be made. I need to make a soil extractor. Press this button. And then we'll have planter boxes coming down right here. And then on the other side, uh, botanical garden. How do I make a tree? I'm going to need a just tree. I want to make a tree. Make the planter box and the seedlings, which also happen right here. So I guess the seedling. We need another uh, fastwood forestry. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, so let's go get that. Oh, click that button. Beautiful. Fastwood forestry would go right about here-ish, even though it's really, really big. It might not fit. It'll go somewhere in the neighborhood, and it'll make trees. Uh, and then there'll be... How long does it take to make a tree? Just a tree tree? Oh, 30 
seconds. Alright, we're going to put two of these suckers in. So I'm going to go 40 trees, 40 normal trees. And we'll try to make tree two. And all this place will be obsolete after that. Uh, I have a bunch of trees on me. I can tear all this down afterwards. Alright, so... And then we'll have the seeds made there. We have the botanical gardens in our inventory. Uh, all that's necessary now is to get the ge moss gene samples in. And for that, we need to get moss. And hey, look, what do we got right there? That looks like moss is coming in. It's going to be completely just repurposed for my new needs. Genes lab. Right here. There, right there. We need petri dishes in and moss in. Hmm. Guess I'm not doing this quite right, huh? One, two. And we'll do product out right here. So we'll have, uh, moss in. I don't think I'm going to have enough moss to run these 24-7. I think this is going to be my bottleneck. Luckily, I can increase moss production really easily because I, uh, um, I built a moss making factory. I should go supply that with more bricks, right? I believe... That is a good idea. Good. We have product out now. Not going to need many at all right there. Yeah, product out. We want... Well, these going to be petri dishes. You only need one petri dishes. Up, up. Product out, but we will need quite a bit of two, three, four, I think. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I believe I am dreaming if that one right there ever is actually used. I kind of want. Well, it's going to back up, right? So just leave that alone. Um. Oh, we almost have all of our stuff made ahead of schedule. Sorry, I'm on a side quest, even though I probably shouldn't be on this side quest. I'm going to order 20 more moss farms be made. By skimming off a whole bunch of bricks and then chucking them over into the in hopper. Oh, you got bricks. I wonder why. Where are you getting these bricks from? Huh. Maybe I keep the bricks then. They're my bricks. Alright, now you keep half of them. Alright, now I need to go get the petri dish line. I'm not super duper thrilled with running a line on equipment like that. It's agar and it's glass and it's some assembly. But at the same time, I have clear excess production right here, and I don't want to duplicate it. And by my, my current standards, it isn't that far away. <laughs> it could be farther. How about that? So I want to go just straight up here. Like, if I could go straight up here, honestly, that would be perfect. Is this a viable line? Oh, it is, isn't it? That's just too tidy. So, drag it all the way down. So another thing I have to do is I was uh, thumbing through the um, recipe book a while ago, and I noticed I had discovered propene, which is, simply put, just better syngas. It's syngas plus lead makes much better syngas. And I'm like, oh ho. 
Uh, unfortunately, though, I have not had the time to wire that up. I'll get around to it one of these days. Like, next time I have a syngas crisis, it's going to be, I have an answer. The answer is we're going to propene, propene accessories. That day is not right now. We are on a different sort of quest. Oh, that's just beautiful. I did not plan this. It just worked out this way. Alright, so we'll start making moss gene samples here. Alright, and this will take, put out one every three seconds if this is saturated with moss, which it probably isn't, and we'll go put down a whole bunch more moss farms, just as a matter of course, but also if we need them. How is power doing? Power is peachy keen dandy. Power is just great. And snatch. Alright, and it's going. Alright, moss gene samples. You just build up right now, please. Um, and then we'll figure out what I'm going to do with those. Meanwhile, let's make some trees. Mm, we are kind of far south, aren't we? That's not super great. I think one automated factory will do it, right? Like, okay, one bank of automated factories. I'm not going to have to do a huge, massive production deal, right? Alright, so nothing right here actually is of any interest to me. So I want you to make empty planters. No, right there. Empty planter box, and the biggest problem here is the stone. And so what we got to do... Oh, nice. Tech. Take this stone. This is going to steal directly from science right here. However, uh, the science isn't super duper important right now. And I can always just make more brick factories, right? Okay, good. I just did that completely wrong. Not good. Not good at all. Alright, so logistic factory here, make this. I don't... Does it do anything or is it just a fancy tile? Looks like it's just a fancy tile. Oh, a better way to make asphalt. Oh, no, not really. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure if any of these are for me. I like the, just the concrete look, you know? Alright, anyway, research that thing. Now you need some wood and some iron. Feels a little bad doing it like this, but, you know, not that bad. Right there, and now we have to snatch some wood. Okay, perfect. Oh, unfortunately. There we go. Wonder why this wood line is so sparse. So that should do everything we need right there. Now we want full planter boxes. Ah, uh, planter box. Uh, where's my soil extractor? You need to be right here. For obvious reasons. And we have to get some water. There's some water right there. Uh, it's going to be tough to access because there's stuff in the way. Is there any water down here I can tap into? 
Yes, right there. Much easier water. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Rotate. Right there. Well, kind of easier water. How about that? This kind of sucks. Alright, come down here. I know I'm going to regret doing this. No, absolutely going to regret doing this. But I think I'm going to be moving all this before I need to use it again. What? Oh, no. no. Wait, that is what I'm doing. Except I got fetal serum in it by connecting there. Oopsie doodles. Okay. okay. Bup, bup, bup. Bup, bup. Bup. And that will let us connect in the water line in a way that doesn't make me very, 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 very unhappy. Alright, so now we got dirt. Now we have to bring in ash. Should be pretty easy. Give me more pipe, please. Oh, I should have dunked all uh, the petri dishes. Ah, uh, off with um, the labs I just made. All right, Sue. Ash, right here, I guess. Right. This seems like a pretty filthy ash line. For now, we'll use it. That looks good, right? You gotta go, and you'll gotta go, and you'll go. So, let's start this off. Now, let's build wildly. Alright, empty planter boxes. Give me a fastwood forestry. Can't put there. Sad. Alright, so we'll put two fastwood forestries right here. think like this, and I think like this. Why don't you both make trees? No? Oh, wait. Oh, maybe I don't need these. Okay, that sucks. Maybe botanical gardens for making trees? Suddenly this seems familiar to me. You make a tree? All these things have to be made. Yeah, I have to do all of this. Make tree. Tree. Right here. Tree. You make tree, you make tree. And for this you need planter box, which we have right here. Good. Oh, you have to move over. There you go. Make tree. Make tree. You also need seedlings. What we have in a line right there. I need more splitters. Okay, perfect. Perfecto. I'm not sure that was perfecto, though. No, that was imperfecto. Like that. So, tree factory. And you will make trees. Oh no, this one's... Okay, stop. Got it. Caught it just in time. Speaking of imperfecto, we have this. Here we go. Alright, better. And so we have tree factory right here. Great job. Why would I need to? There's only got to be one tree. Alright, so planter boxes are going to be made, you're going to be made, you're made. What's the bottleneck? I don't know. We make trees. Now to get tree seeds. Tree seeds, Mach 2. Oh, I need two more botanical nurseries, unfortunately. I thought I needed fastwood foresteries. That is not actually accurate. 
So we need a hundred dirt and some iron plate. Hopefully they're not referring to small parts there. I'll go get more small parts just in case. Good, 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 good. Down, 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 down. You get caught on that yet again, as I do every single time I run this way. I'll figure out a way around that sometime. That way around is probably going to be build a new factory. Oh, wait, we can get rid of some stuff. Some stuff. I get rid of this limestone. It's been hovering in my inventory forever. Oh, I need just stone. I got a solution for that. I got a solution for that right here. Yeah. Stone. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, it is going to take a bit of time to get these botanical nurseries made. So let's use these moments to pull up the gene samples. Let's see how we're doing down here. There. A whole bunch of gene samples. We are moss um, constrained at the moment, as we thought we would be. I think the best thing to do would be to come up probably on the inside of this line. So moss gene samples comes up right here. Unfortunately, it is taking the line that should be occupied by petri dish. So I may be regretting this in the not too distant future, which in Payandon's factorio terms could be many, many hours, hundreds of hours of play. So I would like, remember when this used to be the factory's edge? Don't want to get too close to the labs, but we want to get in here. And all this is going away, so I can just kind of ignore it, I guess. Hmm. Let me just keep going. Embrace spaghetti. Spaghetti tastes good. This is all going away, right? Yeah, they are coming. Yeah, yeah, pretty unsure about myself right here. But, I don't know, it's going to work. So, let's not complain too much, eh? Alright, we have our gene samples over here. Now we'll just pull some tailings down. They are also... Very important to this process. Let's get some pipe. Can't use this line. Can't use that line, but we can. Ah. Oh, what a mess. What an absolute mess. Um. How do this? I want no. Can't use this line because of that. Can't use this line because of that. Can't use this line because of that. I guess we gotta come all the way down here and kind of make a barricade. Well, we don't have to have to. That would be one of those choices that we have to live with. This is an okay line, right? Okay for certain values of okay. Oh, fortunately is not okay. Alright, we can juke over again. Live in shame. Alright, so we have uh, tailings in place. Isn't there another place I had to connect? Tailings, right down there, right down there, right there. There we go. Tailings being produced. Um, need another stack of that. So, now, I made the botanical gardens. And it will come right here. I'm 
And what I want you to do is I want you to make Seeds Mach 2. Same thing for you. And I'm pretty sure by the fact that we're using tailings for this, we are just poisoning these guys with industrial chemicals. That is the official explanation on what we're doing here. Here, move this down. And eventually one of the plants will survive, and that will be our superior uh, tree mock two. And uh, that's just how we do things here in the special economic zone. It's uh, it's environmental. So where am I going? From right here. Time to shove the industrial tailings into the plants. Not just to see what happens. I kind of think I know what happens. What happens is most of them die. <laughs> and that's just... That's science right there. Alright. You guys gotta come this way. Moss gene samples. Tailings. Trees. And right there. We need one in and one in, and our results need to leave, please. And I think for this, we're going to need deposit. Yeah, why not? Everything gets thrown into this box. We're going to need... I think on average of 600 um, tries of this in order to make the to to have a proper shot. All right, we're good. Time to light this up. Here, take this stuff. Uh, and you, here, take this stuff. So let's go. Let's turn it on. Let's see what happens. No, this just can't do it, huh? All right. Now we need a local power pole, which is probably right over there, right? There we go. Big machine turn off. All right. Empty planter boxes just shoving their way in. Bottleneck appears to be um, soil. Maybe. Alright, planter boxes coming over. We are making trees. Trees are rated at one every 30 seconds. This eats one every 20 seconds. Um, so we're really only running at one and a half speed here, though I can put another one, another tree generator there if I think I can sustain it. <clears throat> and it looks like, yes, I can. So we'll just watch this for a little bit. Yeah. Alright. So... Here's, you're going, you're going. Yeah, the trees just got made. And now this is rolling dice. They're both rolling dice. And it is a 0.5%, that is 1 in 200. And... Did I get it right off the bat? Immediate success? No. How about over here? Immediate success. No. Didn't get anything. Busted. Now they're both stopped. So I should probably make another botanical garden. Um, and then I should start planning for success, right? Because step one is uh, making the seeds. Step two is turning them into trees. Here, take that. So, so, so. Come up here, get rid of items. The inventory's been treating me well lately. He says, immediately cursing himself. Um, I will get trees too, and then I will... I should probably go build the four more biomass power plants. That's just gonna be a lot of shopping. 
the other thing is probably more um, uh, moss because once again this is too thin right excuse me excuse me everyone excuse me yeah just not enough moss is reaching here at all um, and that can be solved here we can actually do this and take well no not if I'm gonna go and uh, be the moss fairy down south which I think I should probably do I think I should think of put one more botanical garden um, pick up the planter boxes hopefully I won't have this going for me in my future. Hopefully this all goes away. Um, yes, pick up the planter boxes. Good. One botanical garden. Hopefully this won't be so bad. And it'll go right here and we'll also supply trees. So, excellent, right? Um, yes, it in fact is excellent. And then I will set up the fastwood foresters right here. Uh, actually, just start. Uh, make tree two. No, I need seedling two. I'm going to need yet another botanical garden. Mm. Mm. We'll think about that, right? So I'll have that set up. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go grab those mechanical parts pretty soon here, yeah? So I'll try to go do that. But I'm waiting on this botanical garden. I'm going to have to go put moss everywhere. Why are the trees taking so long? Do I need yet another botanical garden? I guess so, huh? Ah, oh, well. It's not that bad. Up, up, up. One more. This take forever to make for some reason. And I do not understand that. Alright, more trees, please. All out of belt. It's probably one of the reasons my inventory is in such good shape. Yes, I have to do it like this, huh? It's gonna be pretty ugly no matter what I do, but I'll come pick this up later. Alright, good. And there's no room for any more. So, unfortunately, this looks like maximum fast. Or the area that I've chosen here. There's no reason for me to, to actually be here. I just am. Oh, we're going to win this time? We're going to win? going to win? going to win? Oh. So this one has finished 10, and this one's finished 10. But don't get used to that. We're burning through um, moss right now. I have to go plant a whole bunch more. Right now, we plan for success. Okay, so I want you to make tree seedlings. I need still more moss. <laughs> All right, you can have just a whole stack. There you go. That's all you're going to need, right? Well, no, we're going to have to make a whole whole line here. Mm, maybe I should have brought moss over here. All right, so maybe we shouldn't be doing this right here. We should t once the the seedlings are made, the moss should be. We need to to select a situation, uh, an area by ground sample. We have that down south by moss. We probably have a moss line there, and then the fastwood forestry. Looks like we only need one, huh? Yeah. Oh, and we need more planter boxes. Oh, dang. 
Ah, uh, muddy sludge, what we got? And this is just normal trees, yes? Yes. Um, so we'd have to bring planter boxes over, which is not difficult at all. This is bring down sample up. That's just dirt and um, rich clay. We got rich clay right there as part of our brick adventure. It would be trivial to just split the line right here and bring some over. Uh, down here and then turn it into ground sample. But what I'm missing is moss. Hmm. Where is moss around here? Alright, you know what? This is probably just too ambitious because we're already full up on trees, right? Yeah, we are already bottlenecked on moss. So, let's not think about this even a little bit and deal with the actual bottleneck in front of us. So, how many moss farms have we made while I was gone? Hopefully it is many. Nice. You have made... oh. Yeah. Definitely take more space than that. I want endless moss farms. All right, so we have 30 moss farms to put up. That is uh, 0.33 times 8. That is, what, 2.5 moss a second when I deploy them properly. I should get more pipe in order to deploy them properly. Up, up. Up. And now moss farms. We'll pull more stress on carbon dioxide and on muddy sludge, but muddy sludge is a something I have to vent. So here we have moss, right? No, we have seedlings. And that's seaweed, I believe. Yeah. So moss comes up here and just kind of stops. We don't have moss. Well, okay. Okay, you know what? We won't connect a giant moss line. We will put one moss generator right here. It can be made in situ, right? Just let's do it. Um, right here. I want you to make moss. And then that's where the moss will come from, right here. Alright, good. That's decision made. I don't know where muddy sludge is around here. Probably over here. Yeah, definitely. Um, and also carbon dioxide. So, good. I keep... I don't need to uh, run a moss line. The base is a moss line. You know, just, just, just use it. So all this, this needs to be one solid furry green line. But it is currently not. So, run, run, run. No, it's not 2.5. It's closer like to 2. Point, closer to 3, right? 33 times 8 times, what is it, 100 seconds? Well, oh, whatever. Alright, we gotta, unfortunately, cut the line right now. Okay. This will unfortunately interrupt production, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Really? Oh, the niobium pipes are really going to cause problems here. Uh, I should know that's just, well, they're not exactly interchangeable. They're not even mostly interchangeable, so I guess they're correct here. So, yeah. Yes, you are right, robots. Yes, the meat sack is wrong. Yes, I will stand still and allow you to do this for me. Yes, I know it's right. 
Might as well at least allow me to refill. There we go. Okay, good. Everyone back in the bus now. To add more moss farms. Whoop. Ah, true Factorio now. I very much look forward to the day where I can start doing level 2 moss. Unfortunately, that day is not here yet. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe by the time I get back, uh, it will have proven necessary and I will have all the tree seeds that I need. I think this is pretty unlikely, but it would be fun, right? segment and I still can't you know, I can do this lines up perfectly ish <laughs> there 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 and the great wall becomes greater now it probably doesn't help that much because they're trying to expand behind the wall and I'm not building that much behind the wall, so it probably doesn't foul those chunks for them. It's just kind of annoying. Okay, you can't be here, you can't be there, you can't be there. Deploy! Up, 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 up. There you go. Okay. Good, 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 good. How many have we deployed? About half. Moss is a kind of boring business when you get right down to it. Do I start balancing you at this point? I oh, need to balance you at several points. This is as good as any. Yep. Still more to do. Good. Next segment. And paste. And I do not have enough moss anymore. I have to go collect some. Which I am happy to do. Okay, good, 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 good. Now I'm officially out of moss. I have 12 left, and each require 15, so that is what? Uh, 174 moss needed, so just go get four stacks. That sounds right, right. Now I should definitely be watching moss production. Oh, over here. We have a moss box. One, two, three, four. I will remember this. I will come back to it. Carbon dioxide looks kind of low. I have many carbon dioxide makers all over the factory, so it's highly unlikely that we're actually running out of, it's more like, it'll be a biomass shortage. There you go. Everyone come back. Don't worry, bots. The human has it. Ha 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 ha. It is trivial. My meat thumbs. And do I really want to keep going up here? I guess I do, right? It's going to be necessary eventually. Might as well do it now. It'll take more time, but... It'll be alright, right? Alright, so that's now flowing completely. I need more uh, power poles. Good. So, all this is going. Everyone here is contributing. 
Oh, that was going to be a problem, isn't it? Glad that was caught. Hmm. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? It's not really a balancer, is it? Hmm. Hmm. It is taking half and putting it on one side. Well, it should be... If I want a true balancer, right? I gotta do something like this. should know this. This should just be simple factorio at this point. That's a true balancer. Half goes on one side, half goes on the other. And I can put this basically wherever I want. It will do this. Uh, I won't be dramatic and say something like perfectly, but consistently? Are you going? doing their thing. Everyone's doing their thing here, right? Yeah, everyone's making moss. Constant stream of moss, please. This place is obviously doing well. Yes, obviously. Good. Then we have to... I guess we have to address the corner. All these come in, please. Bring these logs to me. I shall turn them into power for the factory. All these two. We'll probably have to address this corner properly in order to get the spacing right. So, let's go do that. So what we need it's probably just one of you to do this. Oh, and I don't have enough belt for this now. Alright. Never mind. I'm not pulling this up. I'm going to fill in the blanks. Instead. Uh, simply because I do not have the uh, materials to run the belt farther. Are the uh, power poles off centered? Here, take this here. No power poles. Nope. Power poles are taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. Right there. Okay, good. Oh. Okay, good. Yeah, everyone get in my pockets, please. It should just be just super simple to throw these in, right? Okay, good again. All of you are working right. Everyone's working right here. I have two more. Super happy about that as well. Alright, so... Um, in a little bit, I should look at moss production. In like a hundred seconds or so. So that's good. Um, hopefully... Hopefully, 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 this will have an impact at the Moss Gene Production Facility. I'm just going to keep hammering that, huh? And then afterwards, when this is all done, 
the moss have a bright future, uh, probably becoming compost and auk food, and so on and so forth. So this is good, this is good, this is good. I should put down these uh, seaweed farms. The seaweed line was looking light. It wasn't reaching the compost last time I checked. Like, look at that. It's really light. And if it's not reaching the compost, uh, it probably isn't satisfying the needs of the factory all the way. It's good to see this is all backing up. And, oh, let's take a look in the box to see if we won the lottery. Let's see how close we are to real ultimate victory. Wait, we did. We totally did. We won the lottery once. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, that makes me happy. So, now we have to start preparing for victory. I mean, obviously, we should definitely prepare for victory. Sue, what happens here? Um... This will get the seeds from here, right? And eventually this will start cycling. Then it will need ground sample, moss, and water, and it makes tree seedlings. You take those tree puppies, you come here, and you make trees. And what I want to do is then throw the trees into a box. Uh, this will probably be here for a long time, so I should probably care a little bit about what I'm doing. He says, uncharacteristically, I think maybe I need a storehouse? I think maybe a storehouse. Storehouse? And that will go right here, right? It kind of has to go right here. Alright, so, wait. Now this makes trees. Now I want you to make tree seeds? No. No. No, no. Oh, this is... It goes into a, um... Not this. Why did it take so long to pull that up? You go over there, please. Uh, I need a buzzsaw... A buzzsaw room. I need a, a lumber mill. I have one up here, right? Thought I did. Thought I got annoyed with them and I put them up here. Apparently not. Apparently I used them. Because tree seeds, not seedling seeds, are made from tree in a wood processing unit. Alright, so one of you come with me. Then... All right, seedlings, uh, seeds are deposited here, just like there. And then you make the seedlings Mach 2, moss will come in from here, I'll bring in ground sample, you will make them tree puppies. Tree puppies, get bought over here. And I will bring planter boxes down, and we will have tree puppies in, and sludge in again from the moss. And then when that is finished, it goes into... A box. The box is right here. And then we have the sawmill, which goes right here. And you are in charge of you make wood blades here. It's kind of advanced. You take one tree and you make seeds. Seeds go in here, make more tree puppies. And so eventually that cycle will continue, and uh, level 2 trees will build up right here. And this is kind of like all we'll ever need and more, right? So what we need is to overlap just a bit. Just a bit. Oh. Maybe we just a bit less. Just a bit less, right? Alright. And so, trees go in here. And then trees go in here. And then tree seeds go in here. You will only ever produce one, right? Alright, so... Um... This will slide over again after I am 
through feeding this. Ah, right, look. Um, so this should probably come right here. Maybe. I don't know. It is hard to say. Oh, I need actually more moss? Weird. Um, that will be the local moss for that. So first off, we should probably feed you water. That would be most simple, yes? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Water in. And now we need tree seeds Mach 2 in. Look at that. Bam. Now we just need three more to light this up. No, that will produce one seedling. Every seed produces a seedling, so that's that'll run once we get the pieces in. Um... Now I need more belt, and I need more arms, I need more of everything. I just need a hug. Right there, right there, right there, right there. I need more underground belt, too. Um... Okay. Um, next thing I need... I need, I need, I need. It's more cliff explosives. Alright, so this will... Hmm. Kind of awkward how this is going, right? Kind of a lot of awkward. So how about... Instead, you go right there. We do this instead. This seems more natural, right? And then your produce comes out and then over, right? And those are the level two tree puppies. And I'd rather not fill the belt with this because that's a lot of waste and it requires a lot of buffer time to get all this going, but... Um... Hmm... Maybe there's a better way to do this. I mean, he says, knowing full well, there there certainly is. So, if what we want is to have these touching, so you go away for right now, and then you come right here. We want you touching. There, and the tree puppies come there, and our very precious seeds go right there. Um, actually this should go one up. And again, I have to put in the very precious seeds. Really kind of spiffy that it, I, I hit once. Once in, okay, 70 cycles, so I guess... Maybe not what I'm looking for. That's more trees right there, there's going to be more trees than I ever need. Um, so right here, I guess this means that this is kind of like this, huh? We do one of these. No, it has to be even closer. Then how do I get the material in, huh? It's going to be, well, it's not going to be pretty, but it will work. Alright, so, there, that is tighter and it has less buffer in it, which is neither good nor bad, but it is inherently more pleasing to me, so, okay, it's good. I will declare it so, and right there, right there. Okay, water in again. Now we just need, oh, another lottery win! Oh, wow, that's really good. 16, that's what? Uh, 74 runs, and I won twice in a 1 in 200 shot? Wow. Here, let's take a look at moss production. 
maybe this will actually work with me just standing here. Maybe it'll take a thousand runs to get the next one. Alright, so moss production is averaging up, but it's very spiky. Like, the spikiest spikes right here are near 900. Maybe I added a third more, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Alright, sure, whatever. I get another one? And I can just rip this all down, like it doesn't matter. Only these have to be here for basically forever now. It's these that get ripped down. So, what happens here is obviously this comes in like so. Good. There we go. Planter. No, wait. No, abort, abort, abort. Comes in like so. There we go. And unfortunately, hidden by the top profile. No bueno. Alright, now you need muddy sludge in, and you need moss in, probably sooner rather than later, given how lucky I'm getting. So this should probably be closer, right? Maybe even like this. Ah, we need a muddy sludge rail right here. It should not be hard to do. This has been quite fun so far. Fun in that I'm getting everything I want without any difficulty or struggle. <laughs> For once. I feel like this doesn't happen to me terribly often. But then again, that could just be the... <laughs> You know, woe is me talking. Oh, how my life is so difficult. Oh, this challenge that I have inflicted on myself purely of my own volition is not proceeding as as swiftly as I had imagined it might. Alright, there you go. Gotcha, your muddy sludge. I think that's just CO2 might even be lined up exactly for me. Point, I have to stop pretending like the, there isn't a, a tutelary deity looking out for me. Right there, right there. It does line up perfectly. Wow. Best day. Best play session. Alright, and you just have to start. I'm almost certain I'm going to need more of these, but that'll happen when this is all cleaned up. And this goes into full-time production. Okay, good and good. And you will have a moss line that goes directly in. There you go. There's your moss, there's the tree seeds. Now I need ground sample. I can make it myself, or I could bring it over. There's plenty of space to bring it over. Like, here's ground sample right now. And I think I'm just going to bring it over. It's not even that far of a walk. Just straight through here, and then up, I guess. Even though it's threatening to encumber the lab area. Which is one of the more precious places on this factory. Or I could just make it over here somewhere. Like a soil extractor right squats right here, and then a factory just makes it. But now I'm gonna draw a line. Um have I won again? Ah, oh, it's too much to ask. Three wins and ninety rolls. That's just a little too much to ask, isn't it? Oh, uh, I should be a professional gambler. I clearly have the talent that's needed to win. Alright, so what I will do then, 
I will come in right here. Yeah, underneath the lodgy line. Well, no. Do, where am I going to come up? What what line am I using? I guess I use this zinc line right here. This is ground sample. And if this is ground sample, I come in above the lodgy line. So, like this. Spaghetti increases. Spaghetti has served me well so far. So let's not... Let us not speak ill of the noodles. Okay, right there, right there. The noodles will show the way. The noodles bring truth. The noodles are truth. Okay, right there, right there, right there, and right there. How many times have I said right there in the course of these recordings? I don't even want to know. I'm certain an AI can tell me now, but I'm also not gonna ask. So up, up, up. Yes, I'm not gonna disturb that power pole. I'm actually going to use underground belts. Efficient? No. But it gets me through one more of my immediate problem. This is very much unbeautiful. But it's the last piece. Alright, so... Did I do it again? I can do it again. I did it again. You see it, right? I, I, I did it again. <laughs> I'll fix it one day, right? It's still good. It's still good. Pretty sure that, well, it takes five seconds to load in and 20 seconds to make, so no, that's not actually the bottleneck. Is that ground sample? Do I have ground sample on me? There we go. Process them tree puppies. Here, take these seedlings. Have these planters. So good. All right, tree puppies deployed. This needs three of them. I'm going to make one. Many sads. All right, so we just have to wait for the lottery to be won one more time. All right. This is definitely going to be a bottleneck. But I can fix it eventually. I guess I need I would need five of these to be running twenty four seven. Um, I thought this line was special, but this line was one off the entire time. Ah, Dios mío. Okay. All right. Stop looking at this. Right. This doesn't matter. That was another failure, and we need more, uh, we're gonna do it, this is gonna be it, this is gonna be it, it was not it, alright, fine, um, what do I care about right now, this is moving forward, this will take a lot of time, here, let's complete the cycle, uh, I want you to only take tree seeds. Mach 2. Alright. You may only take that. So even if I'm away for days and days, this will start moving. Is that actually ground sample on the belt? It's so hard to say. Uh, even though it will very shortly be a moss. Moss will be the bottleneck. I kind of counted on... Oh, I need more moss to make that actually move as fast as possible. My bad. I forgot about that. That is my fault. Here. Who's making moss? Do you have any spare moss? It's not enough. Where's my moss box? I should go lay down these uh, seaweed farms. 
That's a good kind of intermediate thing to do, right? Go get more seaweed, go make more seaweed, so on and so forth, etc, etc. Science is going ever so slowly in a direction that just honestly doesn't matter. Beautiful. Here. Do better. Here. Have some moss. And we are moss gene sample short still. So now that I'm, I have a consumption for gene samples, the moss is just all getting absorbed. And that is going, I'm going to need so much moss for um, high science too. Just so much because it's 400 per cycle. And I'm going to want a lot of cycles. How many moss farms? Okay, we're out of brick again. All right. I declare you have a special dispensation of additional brick as brought here by hand uh, and then it will slowly be stolen from uh, automation science from now to forevermore. Huzzah! So I'm going to need all of those. Alright, so what to do now? should never be out of fuel. What? What is a good thing to do with my time now? How long does this take? 30 seconds? Hmm. That cycle should just go forever. Oh, so long as moss is involved. Um... Yeah, I'm nervous about walking away without having tons and tons of moss production online. Alright, I'm going to put down these seaweed factories. Where? I don't know. Just somewhere attached to seaweed. I guess down here-ish. Because I know there's seaweed farms down around the iron ore. Um, what do I got in the boxes? Oh, that's the other thing I have to do. I have to gather up all the materials to make the four um, uh, biomass power plants I need. That's clearly next, right? Because this is all in the interest of getting power to the true next level. All right? how many, how many, how many... How many slots do you have, Mr. Seaweed Farm? Oh. Okay, so we should just do this with molybdenum trioxide. Uh, Alright, that's, that's in the plan. So you have 10? Alright, I have enough seaweed on me. Cool. So install these seaweed farms, and then, after that, um, start making mechanical parts by hand, unfortunately. So, I think I want to make 30 more, so that's 10 each of all the really fussy bits. That is very sad. There is nothing much I can do about it. Alright, so what we got here? These guys are all working at complete full speed. You guys are all working right? All these guys are working. Alright, so... Here. You two stand up. You're no longer necessary. One... Two... Three... I said three. And if these get blown up, I'm not going to shed any tears. They have shockingly little health. I think that's probably because uh, they were never expected to be attacked by anything. Uh, for some reason it is considered strange to have biters in these buildings in the same game. I think that is... Uh, well, I think that's strange. How about that? Hmm... 
Alright. Now, why did I do that? Why did I make this super duper hard for myself? I didn't have to do that. It just happened that way. And it's like this, right? Yeah, that actually stretches. Yeah, totally made this hard for myself. And right there. And huzzah, more seaweed. And this should go in the seaweed line I made somewhere, right? Oh, there used to be a seaweed thing here. Until something happened to it. Oh, and it goes up on it, shares the line with the copper. That's, that's just kind of embarrassing. I should do something about that. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. Oh, I actually, I, <laughs> I did all that, and then I actually didn't hook up the water to the entire thing. I am absolute galaxy-brained player right here. There we go. Now we're running right. No, why are we not running? Because this has no water. This has a lot of water. What are you doing? This has a whole lot of water. How can the fluid system contain so much yet nothing be here? Um... Hold on. How is this so? Really, that's kind of a paradox, isn't it? That means there's a valve somewhere that's causing a problem? Or the system is just completely dry and used up? There's that too! Water problems. Alright, how to get water over here? I don't want to pump it. Oh, and that's probably this entire line too. Pump jacks, I guess. I have them in my inventory for a reason. I would rather... That's the closest body... Okay, the closest body of water right there, but it's inaccessible for, for reasons we understand, right? Alright, so just pump jacks for right now. I want you to make water. I want it to be like this. I want you to do this. And just copy, paste, paste, paste. I'm glad I saw this problem before, you know, I saw the effects of the problem, you know? Good. Now you're just pumping, pumping, pumping. We're adding 133 a second right there. That will likely help. Alright, so situation on carbon dioxide is stable. Situation on muddy sludge is stable and low, which is kind of weird, I have to say. How's pollution down here? It's starting to get out of control. Right, all these guys are going. This might be why seaweed has been a struggle recently. Alright, so next things to do. Um, go look at the tree seeds. See if we ran, got super duper lucky and won the lottery another time. And then start building mechanical parts. And then after that, start building four more biomass power plants. And after that... Ah, uh, just kind of wait for the trees to build up. Looks like we have not, in fact, won the lottery again. Nope. 
we are on 45 and 119 so uh, still waiting still waiting all right so we need more gearboxes it's like let's go get those we have an entire machine that makes them thankfully so we have our gearbox maker down here and the shaft master okay good gearboxes and shafts I'm undoubtedly going to need more steel I'm not sure I'm actually going to need more lead all right so I want to make brakes I want to make I'm going to need more ceramic so I'm just going to take care of that right now. It's five ceramics per, and I want ten, so I'll need fifty. Not a problem, he says. So we'll go get a whole stack. Um, I guess I'd go make aluminum or start pursuing cDNA again. Like actual production of cDNA instead of just having cDNA when I feel like it. You know what I mean? What else? I need to bring aluminum to the next generation of processing. This will also give duralumin on the same spot, which is also uh, very welcome. Breaks. I'm going to need more mechanical parts. Oh, 10 ceramic each. So that's going to use the entire stack. All right, that's cool. Glass, copper, duralumin, and Vitelroy. I have enough Vitelroy. Um, very sad. That gets used as a material and not just an intermediate. Are we moving? No, we are not moving. Um, so let's just go down and stand in the normal center of everything and gather things up. Need more circuit boards at some point, certainly. Now I need what? Brakes. Make one. I need. Got that, got that, got that, got that, got that. Need more glass, need more copper. So more copper, please. More glass, please. That should be all the brakes we need. Yeah, bop, bop. Now we need a uh, control panel. Oh, we can just do this. Bop, bop. Now we need a utility box. And we need oh, 500 tinned cable. Womp, womp, womp. Um, well what to do about that um utility box what else we need on that circuit boards got it plastic bar got it copper plate got it iron plate got it tin cable don't got it and there is no place in the factory that makes tin cable so we just have to pick up a whole bunch of copper and a whole bunch of tin and at the end of that, we get to be sad. Utility box. What are you supposed to be run out of first, huh? Oh, tin. Tin is what we run out of first. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be a while before we see these. All right, good. Um, so that will be ready. I probably need to scrape more copper off the belt while I do it at the time. That's fine. So what do I do now that my hands are busy? Um, and it can't be anything that requires me to craft something. How much rubber do I need per? Three. So I have enough. Good. A ton of mechanical parts and a ton of steel. So let's go fetch those. 
Now I have to decide what I'm doing with myself. Just increase moss production would be simplest, right? Um, I can't build more machines, so I should hold off on that. Oh, I should probably start building the steam engines, right? Uh, biomass factory. Ten steam engines, and I need four used, so I need 40 steam engines. Uh, and you need more pipe. 40 steam engines, please? Small parts and iron plate. I'm lacking iron plate right now. I do have a machine that makes steam engines. But it pipes them directly into the moss factory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Now, biomass power plants. That's just it. I have to just go get the rest of these things. Alright, I'll handle that at the time. Uh, none of this is working. You guys are still just trying to go. You gonna do it? You gonna do it this time? Is this it? Is this it? No. It wasn't it. This? We're gonna do it? Gonna win? Gonna win? No. It did not win. Ah, uh, Lisai. Here. We're gonna do one of these. Good. And just build up the moss buffer right now. Because we'll need it surely later. Alright, so. Something to do. Install more moss generators? Alright, so. See DNA. We want to build our quads and all sorts of other creatures and things. That's going to require us to actually mo uh, automate cDNA. So let's go down here. La Glasser, got it. Laboratory instrument. We're going to have to make another um, like glass will be made on site. Laboratory instrument will be laid on site. Basic substrate will be made on site. Uh, incubated petri dishes probably should be made on site again just to keep it separate. Uh, bio sample made on site, on site. Plasmids possibly on site. If I already have all of this together and there's just no reason not to make Sogma bacteria, I guess, and make that on site as well. So, good. And then the retrovirus, on site, on site, on site. I have just ensured this is most efficient. And pipe that in in hot air. This is a whole lot of stuff that it makes cDNA for realsies. Now let's just take a look at all this stuff. I'm going to need literally all this stuff. This will be one of the most important places in the game when I'm done. It doesn't look like it's actually used for for anything that ends in science, you know? It looks just for like minting new creatures. Which, don't get me wrong, it's good that I'm going to automate this, but eventually it's going to go dark and be useless. Hmm. What's this? Maybe this goes somewhere. Dynesium? What do you get used in? <laughs> Anti-tumor nanomachines. Biofet? What do you suppose this is? Now it goes into an intelligence unit. Okay. Oh. Okay. So let's just, just stop thinking. Thinking too hard. Thinking bad. Thinking thinky thoughts. Thinky thinky bad. Um. So, yeah. We should start reproducing all of that. We need to pick a site for it. It's going to be huge. I declare it's going to be on the other side of all this stuff. There's going to be, I'll declare that this is going to be logistic space right here, and then it will start right here. And this is going to be cDNA land. And it's going to end in a new creature factory. Um, and I don't know what else at the end of the day. So we will do that. 
Um, I should start planning that, I suppose. I can make the glassware. Make a lot of the stuff, huh? Maybe. Maybe I should do something else right now. Maybe I should just lay down the moss farms. Because I know that's going to be needed. And I'm not going to have to build anything for that. That sounds like a very straightforward and achievable plan, doesn't it? There's 22 more moss farms. I'll go grab some more brick. Make even more. Steal more brick from science. Pilfer from the from science itself in order just to have more moss. Alright, hold on a second. Okay, so just a few more, right? Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna get. 25 moss farm. I need what? What is that? 325 moss, I think. Maybe not quite. Maybe not that. And here we're at over 200 finished products. We haven't gotten lucky again. No, we haven't gotten lucky again. So, very, 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 very sad. Anyway, let's go get more moss. Help the process go a little faster. And I guess I'm just going to rip it down afterwards, right? Because I'm going to be making um, it all out here afterwards. Mm. Highly questionable. Anyway, let's not think about that. Let's go do another chore. And then in a bit here, let's go out there and... Ah... <sighs> run all the way out and start preparing the ground for our next great expansion. Sue? So, what am I gonna... Oh, I ran right by the moss box. Why would I do something so foolish? Give me more moss. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one more, just for fun. Over, over, over. And... Begin filling in the wall. Oh, this is no longer necessary. So I'm doing better balancers now. Like, okay, better in theory balancers. Let's not dress it up more than it is. So, a copy. We do need to get the arms, but we don't want power poles. One of these days, I'll just save this instead of building it afresh every single time. That day is not today. It's right there. Oh. Fortunately, I have to move those pipes. I wonder what this is causing me to fall short on. As you know, um, all these materials do not come for free. I wish I could tell them no modules. Though knowing me, I would set that and then forget it and then wonder why they're not putting in their modules. We'll see. Let's keep going. Just, yeah, just immediately moving on. Perfect. What's in the way? Oh. This area. Um, I had a thought for how I was going to do this. That thought is not like this is happening right now. So you can move, you can move, and you can move and paste. We're going to do better balancing a bit here. Oh, I grabbed seaweed out of my inventory. How embarrassing. The robots do not make these mistakes. Stupid meat and gee. Alright, in you go. Thank you. Oh. How I wish they went faster. It does save so much time overall. 
They configure everything. They set the recipe. I'm not on the draw. They also put the modules in. How many more do I have? Five? Huh, I have a little too little moss. It's okay, I can pick it up right from the right from the ground. Okay, good. One more and bop. Now I have just one more left on me. It's right there. Excellent. All right, so the proper way to balance all this should probably be done right here, right? Now, oh, attack. Draw it down, and we do it here instead of in the way, you know? So like this. Huh. Alright, so this is going to cause problems, I suppose. <laughs> okay, that looks bad. Here I was saying that this was going to be proper, and then look what I did. Then look what I did. Alright, fine, whatever. I accept this. Sometimes, sometimes, every once in a while, I do something dumb. This should definitely increase moss production kind of worried about sludge at this point, but we'll see. Um, and I should put in another one of those down here. Maybe a little better. See, that guy's having trouble unloading. That's my, my fear. Then you go right here. And you go down. Yeah, like that. A superior balancer. It splits it evenly and then puts it on both sides evenly. Okay, good. And it will be need that will be needed to be done every once in a while to ensure that everything is working. Now I suppose I could just, well no, if I transfer it all to the, the near side of the belt uh, it will mean eventually that it just backs up in a different place, right? So that's not a solution. Don't know why anyone would suggest that. Let's go take a look at our trees again. Maybe we'll have some, we'll actually see a level 2 tree just standing there waiting to be put into the system. Wouldn't that be nifty? That would have required us to get lucky the second I turned my back though. Which, you know, also kind of how things work around me. So let's look, let's look, let's look. And if it's not, I will have to figure out... Are you going? No. You are not, in fact, going. Oh, I haven't gotten lucky since. So it's here. We are at 172. That's 170. That's 72. So that's 240 some. All right. And we're almost at the point where we can make the <clears throat> biomass power plants. Oh, we also have to make a heat exchanger. Oh, this is interesting, isn't it? Why don't we have petri dishes? That's a real good question. So why aren't you doing the thing? Hot air? Or low on hot air? Are in fact low on hot air. That's absolutely not what I want to see. Hot air is one of my least favorite things to work on in this entire factory. I do not understand it. I don't. There's no alternate way to do it outside of this one narrow recipe. It's, it's just not fun. 
Oh, its moss is completely backed up. So putting in more moss farms was probably a bad idea. I don't want to deal with hot air. There's got to be a better way to do this, but there is. It's it's just far, 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 far away. <sighs> so what we got up here in the hot air area? What is our problem? All right, so it appears that this entire system is not enough, right? Because only these two are going right now. Why aren't you going? You don't have enough warm bricks. And the carousel is just moving too slowly, I suppose. Uh, it's so loud all the time. So I guess the real question is why aren't why aren't these going 24/7? And you're missing uh, half temperature coke oven gas. Is that connected right? And that comes from the half temperature coke oven gas. Um, comes from this right? It makes, yeah, it makes half temperature gas. So each one of these should be fueling one of these, right? And this takes eight seconds, and this takes five seconds. Huh. So I guess you never expect them both to be going, because, I mean, it, this fuel, this output fuels the one above, uh, the the stack above, and this output is this is fueled by the one above, and this is fueling the one above. So they're they're locked. Oh, that's really interesting. They usually don't attack right there. Must be an expansion attempt. I'll have to bring flamers to the south if they actually threaten to make a breakthrough. So that's one of the big problems here, is the gas out, the gas in here is produced by the level above and the bricks above here are again by the level above. And they're not lined up correctly, you know? It's eight seconds and five seconds. And that's a difficult ratio, right? So it's, I mean, it's just five times eight right there. We have a prime number involved. So we will need uh, eight of the lower tier ones to five of the higher tier ones in order for everything to be utilized. Pretty sure that's how the math works, right? Yeah. Alright, so anyway, we stand once again before the altar. Take that, take that, take that. And I will keep you fueled while you do your business. So, I need more hot air, and there's just no good way to do it, right? Like, the good way to do it is in the Simic boiler, which is forever from here. Literally from ever. Hot stone brick. I'm not. I'm not thrilled by this at all. I think this is silly, and I don't like it. I don't like how there's only one um, uh, gas that it works with. I think it's kind of dumb. So I need a heat exchanger. Not regenerative. You. Oh, I have to go get asphalt. That sucks. Um, hot air, yeah, one of my least favorite aspects of all this, of, uh, pies. If, like, all the breeding stuff and the monster ranching is one of the high points, hot air is one of the low points. It's just irritating. Um, so over here, it's gotta be over here, right? Biomass power plants. Go get plastic and a lot of iron. All right, can do. So one, two, three. Look again. 
one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we just need a whole lot of plastics. So let's go over to the AUG food. But then I'm probably going to run out of other stuff. Inner metallics, don't have enough. Uh, pipe, don't have enough. All right. We can make this work. We can make something resembling this work. <laughs> How about that? Um... Then I guess I am going to have to address the hot air problem at some point. God, I don't want to. I really, really, really don't want to. So, up here and up here. And I kind of have to reproduce all of this again in a different area. Is that good? Is that enough plastic? Yeah, it's enough plastic. Uh, circuit boards? Get more. I need two stacks of circuit boards to do this. Run, 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 run. Bop, bop. Um, need more pipe, need more steel plate. Need three more stacks of steel. One, two, three. And then I need a couple more stacks of pipe. Which can be found up here. Oh, we get to look at our trees again. Always am happier when I'm looking at my trees. Not going yet. Still sad. Maybe it'll win the lottery while I'm up here watching it. Alright, so... Steam engine, got it. Parts, got it. Small parts? No, I'm missing small parts. Uh, I believe in you guys. You can do it. Except for now we're short on petri dishes, so I really do have to handle hot air. Ah, complete. Ah, it just scales so badly, no matter what you do. Um, guess, oh, this is a problem, eh? There. Now I should be able to do it. Yeah, build them all. Give me my seaweed back. Okay, wheels just get made, and now I need a heat exchanger. For which we need more Duralumin, and then we need to go get the uh, thing of asphalt. We probably need are about to need to make another one of these. Um, I wonder if this system that I've come up with down here can also permanently power uh, the hot air generator. Hmm, that's something to examine, isn't it? Because we need a heat exchanger in order to heat up the gas. Hmm. Anyway, I'm getting kind of off topic right now. I came down here for something. Duralumin is what I wanted. I wanted Duralumin. Now I can make the... No, I gotta go get asphalt. I should probably just carry a square with me. Because I know I'm going to need to do this again real soon. So unfortunately, tree science has slowed down because of lack of hot air, of all things. It's not what I wanted to see at all, so I have to start making a plan to address this. There we go. How many mechanical parts do I have? So another biomass power plant. Another heat exchanger. Yeah. Alright, so I am now ready for success. Once the trees start rolling in, I'm ready to set that up down there. In fact, I should probably just take these things down there and just just put them in a box to show that I, I have intention. Uh, so I don't mistakenly use them somewhere else. I think I'm going to build another biomass power plant. I'm going to try... I'm going to try to redesign yeah, I, I've come to the conclusion that the um, uh, the way I have built this eternal biomass power plant has is just bad. Is just just simply bad, <laughs> and I need to sit down and I need to look deep inside my heart and I need to do better. You know, do better, uh, and I I I. I 
I dreamed with focus on this. Oh, more seaweed. Please, make more seaweed. I, I looked into the astral realm, where I believe I understand a better design now. Yeah. Yeah, don't do any of that. Make more seaweed. So, I will come... Yeah, we're all backed up. <laughs> this is probably bad in that it's, um... Gonna affect the green wall. You know, the wall nature of the green wall. But, it's better to have this all backed up than to, um... Be bottlenecked on it. At least this shifts the bottlenecks somewhere else. Alright, one day, I will come back here. And on that day... The biomass power plants and the additional heat exchanger will be waiting for me. And also these pressure pumps. That one pressure pump. That's all I'm going to need. Just look at it. Just look at it one more time. And that's stopped most of the time because it's, it's only working at like a quarter power, right? Because it's only putting out half... well... This can only handle half, and it's only putting out half, so it should be running basically all the time, huh? This was less than half. Uh, anyway, it's steady right now. That's all I care about. Alright, so... good. Goal number one accomplished in that trees level two are going. Goal number two accomplished. We are prepared for victory here on the power plant side of things. Goal number three in progress. Uh, I need to take a snapshot of this, right? Except for the composter. Not the molten salt maker. But up to here at least. We have to clean this up. It's not right. But you can come with me. So we want to do that. No, that's not the right one to take with me at all. Uh, trash that. It's one of these. This is water in and, you know, molten salt to circulate like blood. Um, and then heat out and right here. Yeah, up until exactly right here. And instead of the regenerative heat exchanger uh, powering uh, pressurized steam, it shall instead uh, heat up coke oven gas in order to just exhale it over bricks gently with a hint of vanilla in order to appropriately make hot air. Oh my god. How is this even real? I don't understand how this is real. So, yeah, we've been steady at 2k a minute. <sighs> and we're definitely. Wait, hold on a second. Bring that back. Hot air. For the last 10 minutes, yep, we are consuming it immediately on production. So, I definitely want to associate it near the current hot air factory. Um, I have molten salt there, which is good, and I have a source of uh, initial coke oven gas, which is also critical. So I should probably start... how many we got in our herd here? I should probably... yeah, I should stop this from being too many. This is really good, especially since Vrox aren't needed that much in the process. We're going to stop you at 200. Great work, you guys. Your reproductive organs are very valuable to me. So, up here, up here, let's look at hot air again. <sighs> oh, apparently we wander out here first. Why are you stopped? Why is this all stopped? Oh, you're just making augs to go into slaughter? Oh! Because this is biomass powered. And we haven't done that in a very long time. Well, and there's not enough space. I'm 
maybe there's a way space to put in an automated factory. We'll see. Mm. I oh, it would be so ugly to force one in right here. Um. I guess what I do then is the other thing. Put it here instead. No, no friend, you missed my intention. There, I want you to make caged Og. Ulric, Og. There you go. And we put them on the belt like so. Don't ask what happens after they're on the belt. You don't want to know. This bypasses my aug box, which makes me sad. Because I do like my aug box. Since it's empty, I'll have to replace that. So it probably doesn't mean anything, right? This was all not working. Here, Ogs. Uh, well, not the most fortunate of Ogs, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, these Ogs do not get a happy ending. These Ogs get the bad ending, unfortunately. Uh, but it's alright. I mean, we haven't heard any complaints, eh? <laughs> I mean, I haven't heard any. I wear earmuffs. Alright, good. Alright, so... Okay, saw a problem, solved a problem. Excellent. And that will put more material on the belt, especially since Brock should be stopped. I don't think this means anything, really. I think we're... Yeah, we're completely full up on animal sample. Like, almost completely, completely full up. So it's not... We've been putting those plasmids to work. Anyway, um, situation completely normal there. Let's go look at the trees, and then let's just start thinking about a plan for the next hot air generator, because it has to be made. I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to do it next time. Um, it's going to try to use uh, eternal energy instead of... Uh, like, wood being piped in or anything. Oh, and this still hasn't gone. 275, so it's near 300 uh, chances, and I've only won the lottery twice. Okay. It's uh, really a bit much of me to be complaining about this. Did I do this incorrectly? I did. How am I so very dumb? It's just absolute mystery how I managed to get up without, you know, cutting myself on my bath towels. Alright. So you gotta keep rolling. Was that it? Did we just win? Was that, the, was that the golden seed? It doesn't look like it has dots on it. So I'm not sure the icon would, though. Nope. Stuck. Alright, we'll watch this. This. This is going to be the one, right? This is definitely going to be the one. No. It wasn't the one. Alright, walk away, do something else. And it has to build up 80 trees anyway, so that's... I mean, even if it would go right now and we get the thing we need, it, the entire next play session would be just building up a forest. So, don't pay attention to it, don't look at it, just run away. All right, so this this madness right here. Um, obviously, I throw down an eternal power plant in order to make the eternal power for this. Is one enough to power this twenty-four-seven? 
five mol 50 molten salt and it uses it every four seconds and this will be going 24 7 this produces 400 molten salt every 20 seconds that is just under what we need right so four times five is yeah it doesn't go it really doesn't I need to be using a a gas or a oil power plant instead so that sucks that's obviously not great but anyway so maybe the, 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 the element that I've been forgetting is that the hot exchanger produces the gas that is in the input right here no way I'm looking at the wrong tier see this is this is the input of the previous one this is this is the waste product of the next level up and this is the input product of the next level up and so that's and the fact they take different times is just a like just special little knife in your eye right there so I think I would love to do this right next door that would probably involve moving this that's entirely possible right like I'd love to do this just right here this probably doesn't need to be here now take this oh it doesn't totally fit and by not totally fitting I mean it just doesn't fit it could massage it so that it turns but I'd rather not what I need is like this all these three not to be here like just to be anywhere else so that's unfortunate so that's the downside of the system in that with all the bulk self-contained it is very bulky I suppose I could put it up here oh nice I can see that's the minimap I didn't know that oh unfortunately it's too big for that as well because this right here this is fair game this space right here um, I suppose I could do it pointing down really the only thing I have to bring up is molten salt and then down um, uh, molten salt enough to fill the, the pipes so I guess I should be in making this here, eh? Give me the simplest pie tank. Thank you. Yeah, just give me the simplest pie tank. There you go. And now I have molten salt when I need it. I can pump it around. So I just have to charge the system with that, and that's it. Uh, but I do want... Um, it's so tempting to try to connect these systems. Like the coke oven gas systems. I have to, but I'm not gonna. I want them to be self-contained. Um, well, the problem is it bleed, the coke oven gas bleeds out, so I have to connect in uh, this line right here. So this makes, yeah, the mid-grade coke oven gas. And that might be happening 24-7. Yeah, you know, we're short on hot air. Man, I don't like anything about this. Um, so the correct ratio is eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then five of these. And then one apex. Um... Remember, these carousels are okay, I suppose. Like, okay, the carousel is probably not needed. Well, if there's eight to one, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe I do them at one to one. But then the, oh, the problem is, it's so hard to uh, get the pipes close to each other. You know, maybe I. Maybe it does work out, honestly. 
maybe they get run closer, and they don't, and this one only runs uh, for five out of every eight seconds. In the other three seconds, it just waits. So this just, well, not even that. This requires five and five, and this requires five and five. So yeah, every, so if I put them one on one like that, every five seconds, every three out of every eight seconds, this is just idle, and that just has to be lived with. And I stack it like that, and I don't try balancing it by this, because it just... The parasail weirds me out, I think. Uh, and then we just have a hot brick line going across into this, and then it comes back down, and it just comes back in like this, and there's no carousel whatsoever. It would probably be easier to think about, and that's something I, I value very much. Uh, the problem is getting the power in. Like... I could, I suppose, not do what I just said, and instead just put down uh, another um, biomass power plant that's right here, and we power it off the main line, and it's not eternal power. That strikes me as a lot more dangerous, but also a lot easy a lot easier to think about and execute. So it's very tempting. Um, yeah, that's probably going to be what I'm going to do, right? Put in another whole power plant right here. And then that will probably be able to run both of these 24-7. And then I will come over here, right here, and I will implement the next generation of the hot air generating scheme. And it's going to be two levels, just like this. They're going to be two together, no carousels this time. It's going to look exactly like this, essentially, only smashed together. Um, probably even sharing the same inputs and outputs. Probably should. Like, where is the pressure in the system right now? It'll work. Pressure in the system is at 100 degree coke oven gas, which is where you want it. And then the hot gas comes out right here and gets immediately consumed. So now there is not a lot of mid grade gas, it looks like. So the bottleneck is right here at the moment. And I need to put in the new power plant, have these run 24-7, maybe even put in one more. Though, I'll have to clear out this space and just do something here, like maybe draw this down right here instead. I can do that. And then put in another heat exchanger. It's probably necessary. And then I'll know it's time to move when... Uh, the hot coke oven gas is built up and is is completely saturating this. Then I'll know that this is ready. But, like, there's related rates here, right? Related rates I don't understand. Because it needs the gas, but it also needs the bricks. If it needs the bricks, it has to get the 250 coke oven gas from somewhere. And that's obviously being bled in through here, right? Should it be inserted in the middle directly from this and not go through this layer at all? Is that going to be a better design? Like, oh, I am so, so very concerned. I will try, I think... So the, I will I will try to make a system that shares the same 500 degree coke oven gas coming in because that's just a pure input line and there's no no concerns about that so long as it's saturated. But I will have a separate line for uh, 250 and 100 degree gas. No, and the 100 degree gas is also doesn't matter. 
I'll have a completely separate line for the 250 degree gas then. But it's going to need 250 degree gas to get started. See, that's what I'm, I'm really concerned about. Um, Alright, we're going to do an experiment here. Like, instead of... Like, this gas right here right here. It comes out 250 and it, does it actually go in this? It does. Uh, how about instead of doing this it instead bleeds directly into this middle line. So I think we're doing something like that right here. Right? I don't know what this is gonna do. Like, I know I've broken this in the past. I've broken this several times in the past. I will bro break it again in my future, which will one day be my past. So it goes this way. And right here. So this is 250 degree coke oven gas. I need an underflow valve right here. And I need to connect this up to that. There. Coke oven gas comes in, and now it's filling up the middle layer? Like, the middle layer should ideally be pressurized. If the middle layer is pressurized, then this, the, the warm bricks should always be made. And then that should always drop the middle layer down to 100 degree gas. And that should mean that this should always be pressurized. And it takes a little bit and then makes the hot gas, which then returns more 250 degree gas. I, wor I very much worry this will eventually clog it up and it won't. Um, there will be a case where, even though we're underflowing, um, it will not be able to... Th this won't be able to vent the 250-degree uh, gas, and so it will never return. But that seems illogical, I think. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Ah, uh, I don't know. This is a problem for the next play session. Right now, I do not understand. I see, but I do not understand. So, I am going to go look at my trees one last time. My happy tree factory. And tomorrow, the first thing I do will be another unit of hot air, hopefully solving that problem better. Here, we're not going to use this. I have to side against it. No, it's the same thing, huh? Alright, fine. You can both stay there. Um, I'm just going to flop down another biomass power plant and, you know, God help me. <laughs> uh, it will not be eternal, but nothing in this side of the factory is eternal, so why shall we weep for that? It looks like the lottery win has, in fact, not come through yet. Nope first two wins came very fast and the last win is just just not happening so we got like 350 some attempts we're gonna do it right you're gonna do it you're gonna do it you're gonna do it right now right you're gonna do it and no it didn't do it no it actually uh Looks like the hot air situation resolved itself at some point. Who knows, maybe something stopped being smelted. Um, right. I am done. This has been a decent play session. Let's not spoil it by lingering over long. Alright, next time I play, hot air again. And then the trees won't be grown yet, so I can't finish off the power plant. So I should do one of two things. 
I should either start setting up cDNA all over again, or I should start uh, the aluminum processing line. Maybe I do the aluminum processing line just so I have aluminum and duralumin ready for me next time I need it, because maybe I'll need it for the cDNA line somewhere. Or maybe I can do that, and if it happens, I happens. All right, it'll be one of those things. I don't know which. All right, done now. Saving a game. Can't remember if I did. Don't know what's going on. Who am I? What's going on? Does this button?